Disclaimer. The intro file was created and designed by Summer Fuad from Alexandria in Egypt and she has Behance and Artistation pages that you can visit. Also, what I have made in this file is just importing the FBX format and uh, applying some materials uh, to try out D5 render on 3090 and as you can see it is a little bit struggling uh, to uh, have even 15 FPS but it works, you can navigate through your scene. I tried to open this file on 1060 and you guessed it it didn't open it just uh, freeze so if you wanted to try out the files you may find links below uh, for the max file you may download mediafire file and for other format you may find mega link so enjoy your files and let's start our comparison d5 render is fascinating especially after the 1.8 update lighting became so uh, impressive in most of situations and you can use it right away for free uh, the only pro features goes to the assets some of the assets and video you can't render animation using the standard edition so how it works you can go for new empty scene or from a model file which we will go with and my friend just sent me a sketchup file for a kitchen which is this one. Let's open it and see. Okay, very cool. This is how the scene looks. Just by starting it, it looks really promising, by the way. All the SketchUp materials are intact. Uh, really uh, good shadow. And it seems like the Lomen effect is being turned on. Uh, it has the same artifacts, but a little bit more pronounced but i see that it has really promising results uh, even before putting materials and all that stuff um you can select the material it translates the glass as glass by the way if it found a transparent material it translates it in uh, glass material or transparent material but everything else needs to be adjusted Let's uh, have some time to adjust all the materials and get back again. To apply a material in D5 Render, it is quite easy. All you need to do is to select an item and you will see the base color as an image that, of course, it will be so bad. For this, we need a metallic material. You can go for assets. You will find the ready-made material for almost everything and uh, most of them are for free. But uh, there are some pro version like this, Marola Quatrazite or whatever the name is. And this is the metal section. You will find mirror silver. This one is pro. You can see it here. If you click, you will find it as a pro feature. So this is not uh, in our belt right, right now, but we will go for um, frosted silver. Here you go. So this is how you can apply assets, which is quite easy. All you need to do is just to go for this and you are ready to go. Uh, okay, this will be more frosted silver, it will be better. Okay, I think that uh, the kitchen became more uh, realistic now. You can put any materials uh, you like. Uh, it still doesn't support the fake bevel that is found in Lomion, but I guess D5 render defeats Lomion in terms of interior lighting. It makes impressive lighting for the interiors, especially when we finalize the render, because he knows that this flicker will go away as soon as we do a final render for it. Okay, that's for materials, and the, you know how to set your BBR by just setting or clicking on this, and you can change the color uh, by deleting the texture, you can change the color from here or you can select the texture if needed but this is a metal so it doesn't have to be having a texture it's white uh, color anyway so uh, it is quite easy and intuitive and it utilizes the power of unreal engine anyway uh, that all we need as architects and uh, i guess that they will apply the immerse the d5 immerse which will be an interactive experience but I am afraid that it will be 
uh, only available for the Pro feature, which uh, I, I'm going to buy. Actually, it's it's really amazing program. Uh, you can also find uh, models, but they are not much uh, and quite basic. You can go for car, for example, but you won't find any or very few assets about interiors here. Other dynamic models like this electric fan or this ceiling fan. You can uh, even put the toaster, but nothing uh, more like um, nothing more than that. So you will have to send the feedback about the models that you need. Okay, let's uh, try out the car. Uh, the models looks uh, quite nice. If we have this car. Let's put it in some place. You have automatic exposure here in this filter. And you can have your exposure adjusted automatically. Like in Unreal, you have automatic exposure also. How to adjust the lighting? Quite simple. You can go for Sky and select an HDRI and it has the follow HDRI feature, which is amazing. You can go for Evening Glow, for example. And you will find your sun direction will be following the HDRI. Here is the shadow, but not the color. You can adjust the color if it doesn't uh, go with your mood. Uh, but that's that's amazing. You can literally uh, go for an instant render uh, by just adjusting some sliders. And that goes with old cards too. And we will see that in just a few minutes. Here is the skylight intensity itself, and as you can see that everything goes in real time. Really amazing renderer and utilizes Unreal Engine power because it's built with it. Uh, here is the scene after doing another HDRI. It looks a little bit moody, uh, and you have your sun with its temperature and everything. And there is this new feature which, which is called Geo and Sky. You can adjust the sun angle and is a north offset by rotating the sun around itself i actually prefer to have the sun coming from here instead of from there because this will just lighten up the heater and i don't think that we need the heater in anything so we will go for the list i actually prepared or my friend has prepared some shots but these shots it doesn't have the lighting so we will have to prepare the lighting again uh, I think it was the HDRI, so we will go for HDRI and go for midday, it was cool. And rotate it till it has lighting. Yes, here it is. You can see that the GI and everything is being translated in real time. And uh, it's 60 FPS. You may find it lower than this uh, because of the recording, but it is 60 FPS, I can guarantee that looks really fascinating we can just uh, make the temperature neutral because it was crazy i guess it's a little bit crazy here we'll keep it like that in the middle that looks more realistic or more appealing to me really neat let's test our rendering on another scene as you can see this is the interior that i've downloaded from d5 render official website it's a little bit heavier and it has nice details and reflections everywhere. Uh, almost anything that you can imagine about D5 render can do, you'll find it in this scene. Immersive materials, uh, effect, and everything. What I love about D5 render is that it utilizes the RTX to the brim. If you see here that uh, the reflections behind me is visible. If we turn off the RTX to medium quality, which is literally turning off RTX, we will have our reflection uh, being visible, if, but when I'm moving, the reflections become screen space. And if I turned on the real-time feature, uh, my reflections will remain screen space, and refractions won't be calculated. So uh, if I zoomed in too much, uh, it will lose all the details and we know that the screen space reflections are great if everything visible and uh, You will find that the reflections working as it has to work uh, But in RTX everything looks quite different even the immersive materials shadows and Everything becomes so different. Yeah, there is a little bit of um, 
you know, the performance uh, throttled down a little bit, uh, but not with a stretch. If I uh, turned off everything related to the outdoors, you'll find that the emissive materials does throw shadows in real time, which is crazy. So we will turn off the sun. Now the scene is being lit by only the interior lights and the emissive materials. And to prove that the emissive material has an effect, we will go for an asset and put a car or something. You will find that the car has... Oh, we are running for some reason. As the, okay, no problem. And you can see that how it looks really amazing. Uh, the shadow is being drawn. If I select the emissive material and turn off the cast shadow, you will find that it is really emissive, but it doesn't affect the scene, but in just a slightly in reflections. But when I turn on the cast shadows, it physically runs and it is being ray traced. And after going through these nice features, let's go for another camera that we will do our test uh, with. So we will go for rendering, photo, and export this. Pretty nice, it rendered it under the minute. It was 36 seconds or something, but it is really fascinating to have such a result in very fast uh, time. Uh, but it actually varies it. Sometimes it renders under 30 seconds and sometimes it... Uh, but the average is under one minute. And as you can see that the quality of the image is quite astonishing for such a time. In few seconds you have this. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe <laughs> some sheets uh, are going on, but you can enhance the resolution by rendering 4K, for example. Let's try out rendering the same image, but in 4K. Of course, we'll start our... Uh, okay, oh my god. Just add one second about this time, and uh, we'll see how much it will take to render 4K uh, for this image. Oh yeah, under two minutes you can render 4K images using D5 render. And uh, let's see how it looks and if there is a difference. Uh, it seems uh, quite sharper than the other version. Yeah, it has more details into it. So let's uh, try out 1060 and see how it will perform with this scene. Okay, here is the scene has opened and... Hmm... The performance isn't so promising, uh, but it actually works. Um, yeah, if you see it too slow, it is not that slow. You can, yeah, barely move, but it moves. You can move around and uh, navigate the scene. It is fast in some parts, of course, the empty parts. But when you look behind, everything wags a little bit. And uh, it is on the medium quality. If I turn on the high quality it will struggle it will turn on the reflections and everything like rtx but it is almost stopped um it won't run uh, smoothly at all you barely move but you can see the rtx uh, features on 1060 but um, almost not moving not real time eh, it is not a big deal at least it is there so you can go for low quality if you feel that the performance is lagging uh, too much. Uh, low quality and medium quality has not much of a difference. It uh, just differs in how uh, the screen space reflection works slightly, but it still works on both options. Uh, so keep it just medium and uh, uh, turn off the real time so you can see the refractions and reflections when you stop on something you will find that it uh, tries to calculate, here it is, it, it started. So you may find uh, not so smooth experience in that matter, so it is better to turn on the real time, so you can have better navigation, but you won't see the glass uh, in this mode. So uh, let's start rendering right away. We have seen the navigation enough. We will go for scene one and render a full HD with this stopwatch here. 
So let's render that and then compare the timing with the RTX 3090 and see how many 1060 we need to achieve the speed of 3090. And you just calculate whatever the pricing is in your country, how much you need for it. Cheese. Hmm. Under five minutes. Not bad, but, um, you know, <laughs> this five minutes to render full HD. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks, um, I think it has the features of RTX in it, but I feel some difference for weird reason. Let's compare both images together. I will take it to the other machine. Okay, here is a direct comparison between 1060 and 3090. And as you can see that the difference between the times are incredible. And the image quality is the same, almost, because you feel that there is a slight differences, but I guess that is due to the calculation nature. With 1060, if we assume that if we put more cards uh, to our computer to render with the same performance of Seri 90, so we will need about 10 cards of 1060 to achieve the same performance of uh, 3090. 